guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so for today's video i will be sharing with you guys how i'm able to study for five hours straight with no breaks and for staying productive within that time period if it's a common occurrence actually i'll be really honest with you guys there are so many times wherein i do I'm kind of you know cram a lot there were moments in medical school where I just kind of you know push everything in one day of study so usually kapag malayo pa yung exam I'm able to study for like two hours per day and I'm also able to do other things but if there's time pressure let's say the exam is in three days I'm actually able to study for five hours straight with no breaks and I stay productive all the time so paano nga ba? so I had to experiment a lot but I guess because of the pressure it made me focus more but other than that because of the pressure sometimes we get panicky and I tell you even if you want to focus for five hours straight when there's some sort of panic and anxiety going through the rest of your body, you won't be able to retain that information, I tell you. So today, I will be sharing with you the tips on how I'm able to study for five hours straight with no breaks and stay productive and also fight that anxiety and stress within me. <laughs> it's normal for medical students and not just medical students but students in general to feel this way. I know if you're watching this and your exam is in three or two or tomorrow, <laughs> then I know how you're feeling but it's okay take a deep breath inhale exhale and I tell you you're gonna ace that exam you just have to have that mindset so without further ado let's get on with the video the first thing is to make or pre-plan your schedule I know I say this all the time but it's actually very important to plan your schedule ahead of time especially when you want to cram a lot of information in your head in five hours in the next few days <laughs> if you have a schedule with you and you have a certain time block or period that you want to follow in on your study schedule that will be able to help you stay focused because you want to be able to do as much in a short amount of time but within five hours if you have a schedule that short five hours can actually mean so much and you'll be able to review maybe later in the day because you were able to finish that within your time period of five hours so plan your schedule if you have certain topics that have too much memorization maybe you can start on that first let's say anatomy that way for the last hour of your review you'll be able to review and get back to it so like for example if you're memorizing the origin the insertion the innervation and the action of muscles in the anatomy Anatomy, I know it can get really complicated. The thing is, if you have a pre planned schedule that helps you take away all the stress and anxiety, so it's best to actually pre plan the night before or the day before so that you'll be able to fully use up your five hours productively. The second thing is to avoid any reason from getting up from your desk or getting up from studying or working. So that means prepare your coffee in front of you, prepare all your study materials, prepare all your prints in front of you, eat breakfast or lunch or dinner, and make sure that there are no other distractions around you so you will be able to put your focus and attention on the ones that you're studying. I tell you, if ever you feel like, oh, maybe I want I want to get my coffee right now and make a coffee, that actually defeats the purpose of trying to stay productive in a five-hour block or five-hour period because in that way, you're actually getting distracted and you're wasting the opportunity to fully use up the time and focusing on what you need to study. If anything, maybe you can plan something after your study period. Let's say watch a movie and in that way, you'll be able to say, I really deserve that movie and I really deserve that ice cream because I was able to focus so I tell you make sure you have everything prepared before studying and make sure if you need your coffee it's in front of you so you can just sip on it while reading the next is if you are not able to focus then I tell you maybe your room is not the perfect place to study usually if I do five hour blocks and studying especially when I need to read up a lot I go to the library because in that way everyone's studying you see everyone else studying and if you have that sort of location where you see everyone else studying that actually motivates you to study more and finish what you have to do so you also have that form of positivity around if you're not very keen on studying in the library maybe what can give you that form of happiness 
and productivity and motivation will be a scene of greenery or in your outside or in the garden that would also be a case as long as you make sure you're focused and you have all that good energy around you so you'll be able to focus and finish up your five hours straight you know and not have to feel like you have to get up every time because you're uncomfortable so make sure if you want a location for studying make sure it's something that you're comfortable with wherein you're happy and you feel like you have that motivation and productivity inside of you how can i retain that information in that sort of period for five hours i mean how can you memorize the origin, the insertion, the innovation, the action in that short amount of time. Well, actually what helps me is also an app called KenHub. KenHub is a great way for you to learn and study anatomy in a very interactive way. It is an online platform that combines multiple effective tools for learning human anatomy, histology, and medical imaging. It helps you study better and make studying a fun and enjoyable experience with detailed articles, colorful videos, interactive quizzes, high-quality atlas images, diagrams, and so much more. Videos are a perfect way to help you study because videos provide both visual and audio learning. And with KenHub, the video explanations are easy to understand and remember with their visuals, pictures, and scenario associations. I mean, that really helps with easy memorization. You can watch videos in different speeds too, and it has closed captions and transcript with timestamps. After every video, an option to answer a quiz, read through an atlas, and even check through the summary is very important to help you check what you have learned. For premium members, you get a chance to use the muscle anatomy reference charts with summary cheat sheets per system for the origins, insertion, innervation, and function of the muscles. For non-premium members, the lower limb muscle chart is free, but you have the option to purchase the other charts. Click the link in the description box down below to get 10% off when getting KenHub Premium. Studying anatomy may be so much more fun with KenHub. Check it out now. The thing is, try to put yourself and say what you're studying. So if I say origin, insertion, try to memorize it in such a way that you're mumbling what you're doing. The thing is, listening and talking can go a long way in terms of memory retention. And I feel like you're talking to someone or teaching them more about it. And that will help you study it and memorize it in a short amount of time. Plus, flashcards can also help. Try incorporating watching videos, you have your information in front of you plus saying, and trying to say it in a way that you're teaching someone. The next is to put your phone away from you. I mentioned this a while ago, but keeping your phone away from you means no distraction at all. Keep the social media away and you know, make sure that you keep it hidden <laughs> the thing about phones is that it creates so much distraction and you're gonna end up scrolling every now and then if you put it in front of you so put your phone away the next one is to of course have that mindset i feel like whenever we're studying we have that mindset where oh maybe i'm not going to be able to finish this in this period of time maybe i'm not going to be able to memorize but i need to memorize we have that sort of mindset wherein we feel like we don't believe in ourselves. But the thing is, if you have that mindset that you are gonna be able to finish what you need to finish in maybe five hours, or actually even two hours, you're gonna be able to do it. There were so many times where I doubted myself in med school, and honestly, every time no malapit yung isang, naisip ko, hindi ko kaya. But every time iniisip ko na kayang kaya ko, natatapos ko yung mga kailangan kong aralin. And lastly, set a standard for yourself. If you set a standard for yourself where you think, oh, I was able to finish something that I need to finish for five hours, you'll be able to do it again the next time. If you're having a hard time, don't push yourself too hard. Maybe you can start with two hour block periods, three hour block periods, and eventually to five hour block periods. Know your standards, know where you are in time, but I tell you, once you reach that period wherein you're able to study for five hours straight, it will feel really good and it will feel really nice because in that short amount of time, you're able to do as much as you can. But for those who are having a hard time and can't do five hours straight, then maybe you can do short periods of time first before you can eventually get to five hour periods. So those are my tips for being able to stay productive for five hours straight. Again, don't push yourself too hard. Just take baby steps in between and I tell you, you are gonna reach your goals eventually. So dream big and focus and gain that motivation back and I tell you, you're gonna ace that exam. Also, these stuff that I'm using, I'm using actually a table from Stance. This is a stand for actually a, an iPad or a, you know, a gadget that you can use and you can actually 
check it out. I'll put the links in the description box down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!